everybody my name is Fiona Milton and welcome back to my channel and um, we are gonna be talking about um, Toy Story 2 and um, Toy Story 3 I had a chance to watch it on um, yesterday I watched Toy Toys 3 and um, it was Wednesday Wednesday I watched um, Toy Story 2 and um, I'm gonna talk about um, Toy Story 2 and um, I really like um, the movie um, I really like um, Woody's character um, because um, you, you know he got injured um, and he needed to be stitched up and um, so the owner Andy thinking that well if you if you broke a little bit you you can't play with the um with the toy anymore and um and the mom was like let's see if we can fix it so um i really enjoyed the movie and i love um buzz lightning um who plays by tim allen um sorry about my voice cuz i'm a little bit under the weather but I really wanted to give you this movie review. Um, I really um, like Buzz Lightning character because he went and go and searching for his friend and everybody else, and um, Mr. Uh, Potato Head and the Slinky Dog. This <laughs> Slinky Dog was um, was funny at one part when they had to go down. Um, to the ground and they had to use one of his slinky to um to bring somebody down and slinky goes there you know you have to let go right <laughs> um i love that part and then um i like um when they was walking and they trying to cross that street i know i'm missing like a few couple of seconds in the beginning but that's when, it, but when they start getting into that big adventure, that really started for me, and I really like how the everything turned out. But I like how you know Buzz Lightning was within a Toy Story, and then another Buzz Lightning um, thought he was um, was out of the box, so then he put himself in the box, and then the other Buzz Lightning. Um, took the other Buzz and replaced him um, with that. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, but, um, yeah, replaced him with the other one, with the other, um, the real Buzz Lightning. And so everybody was like, what is going on? Why he acted like this way? Where everybody was looking at him, at him out all sideways, and then the bad guy comes in. I don't know who played the bad guy. Usually I'll be writing stuff down, but I don't know for some reason with Toy Story, I just wanted to write or watch it, and just um, and just enjoyed it for what it was, and I did that, and I can't wait until I see number four, and then after that I'm gonna buy the whole box set, cause that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but I like how, um, Buzz Lightning, um, was going through the elevator, but I like when they was crossing the street and they were trying to get, not trying to get hit, and they had those cones out and did a whole different traffic pile up. That was funny. But I like how, um, Woody did not know anything about his life before. He became someone's owner of a toy, and um, and um, and it was it was it was nice how um, <clears throat> how everything came into place, um, and it was good. But I like um, the movie on um, Toy Story two. I really liked it. Um, and I can't wait to, you know, when everything actually will come out in box set. 
and then I could just watch it over and over again. Some movies that I do have now that I wish that I waited because I knew there was going to come out box set eventually and just waited. Like Lord of the Rings. I bought that uh, bought that DVD um, uh, three times. And then I got the whole box set that I had more hours and more of the lengthening of the of the movie and same thing with Harry Potter bought that thing more than once but what can you do so number two um, I gave it an A plus and I loved it and um, hope you guys loved it too but I really love um, Toy Story 2 but my favorite we're gonna get into it number three Number three was just so sad in the end. Because I remember at one point in my life that I had all these toys and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with my toys. Um, and they showed Barbie doll, the Barbie doll, and Ken. Because I had, I had the um, um, Barbie and the Ken and then I had the accessories, and then I had um, the um, the Corvette. I had all of that. I had the Corvette and everything, and um, and uh, um, it was um, and um, what happened was I have a toy box, and I still have the toy box for this very day. I was not gonna give away my toy box in case I decided to have kids in the near future. Um, but, <clears throat> um, but the only toys that I do have now is, um, is My Little Ponies. I have the, the collection, the original collection of My Little Ponies, and I have, um, the original collection of, um, Cabbage Patch. Those are the only two that I have. Um, my Barbie dolls got damaged. So, of course, you know, I decided to donate it um, to my next-door neighbor, um, her daughter. And then she passed it down to to her daughter after that. Um, so, that's what I did. But, um, Toy um, 3, in the beginning, Andy um, goes to college and he doesn't know what he was going to do with these toys. And then the toys that um, that he was going to bring, um, it was only going to be Woody. And then the rest was going to go up in the attic. And by mistake, um, he was helping his sister. And he left the, um, the bag of the toys to go up in the attic. And then, um, <clears throat> and then, um, and then his mom found the garbage bag, thinking that was trash. So then, um, then then they end up in um, Sunnyside um, for daycare, and the daycare started uh, playing around with the um, with the kids, and um, and then we think that this wonderful bear. Um, is nice, but he really is not nice. He has a really dark past, and he's just started thinking um, a whole bunch of um, thoughts. You know, he he was like an authority, and um, <clears throat> and um, and he um, then he has the doll. I had one of those dolls too, actually, if I really think about it. Um, and, um, I forgot what I named her. I had, like, special names. Even the teddy bears that I have on my shelf, I have, um, special names. Um, but, um, yeah. I have a lot of teddy bears. And, um, so, but, um, back to the movie review um 
Yeah, so they go into this daycare. And so Barbie meets Ken, and they both don't fall in love. And then Barbie figure out, they're like, why can't acting all, like, high authority? Like, wait a minute, what are you trying to do with my friends? So then, um, and then, um, the, um, the toys was being, um, handled way differently than Andy was playing with them. And, of course, um, Woody is stuck, um, trying to get back home with Andy, but then he gets stuck in a tree, and then someone finds him and bringing him to the, um, the little girl's house, and then, um, then she has other toys, and the other toys was helping him, trying to find a way home, and then one of them, one of the toys, um, um, tell him what happened to the story about the bear and the baby, and, um, so it tells about that, and then he's like, oh, I gotta go back to save my friends, and he's trying to do that, and, um, but I'm not gonna tell you too much, because I don't know if anybody saw it, but, um, but I want to talk about in the end, um, that end part when he goes and sits down and to the little girl and he talks about each one of the toys um, um, that wrecked my soul. I was like, what? I was like tearing and I was like, no! But it is, it's nice, you know, when, you know, that, you, you know, you could just pass on the love and just, um, it's still, you know, you know, I miss my toys, actually. I really do miss my toys, but I really enjoyed, you know, how he explained everything to the little girl. They're like, this is, you know, this is Mr. and Mr. Potato Head. Um, they go together because they're in love. And, um, Rex, um, and then they talk about, um, the cowgirl and the, um, the horse. And I like how he explained everything. And then she founds out that Woody's in the box. And he looked like he didn't want to part with Woody. But then he realized, you know, he, and then himself, he has to move on and um, figure some stuff out. What is ever going on with him. And I'm so happy that, um... Um, the guy who made the movie brought back the original, um, 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 the original, um, the guy who played Andy in the first two films, and he actually stayed the same, and it was crazy because, um, him, the guy who played Andy, um, he himself was in college, and he was getting um, his um, his college degree soon, so um, it's crazy that Andy, the character, was on his way going to college, and then then the um, the guy who played Andy, he's in college himself, and he sounds like the same. And if you want to see. The making of Toy Story 3. They have it in YouTube. They say the making of Toy Story. And then they show all the characters. And um, how they're going to um, play it. And I like um, watching the behind the scenes. It's very interesting. You know how the, the you know they're going to develop the character. And um, the guy who replaced... Um, Slinky Dog, I think, um, did a wonderful job, and unfortunately, Don Rickles, he, um, that was his last film before, um, um, after he, um, did that movie, he passed away, so now I'm wondering who's gonna play, um, Mr. Potato Head in, in the fourth one, so I wanna know who's gonna replace him, and so... 
I don't know, let's see. Um, but I really, really enjoyed the Toy Story. And I'm happy that I watched it. And, um, and I can't wait until when I go into theaters and watch Toy Story 4. Because I know if that movie brought me to tears in the end. Woo! Um... I guarantee it's going to be some definitely some tissue making stuff. And I'm going and I'm going in the daytime. I'm not going to the night. Oh no. Kids be looking at me like, "What is wrong with her?" Nope. Daytime when everybody's at work. But um yeah, I'm ready. It's going to be a lot of tissue this uh, this year. Between that and then Game of Thrones. It's going to be a lot of tissues for Game of Thrones. And for... And, uh, one, and, and the Lion King. That one part of the Lion King. Yes, indeed. Yup. And then Toy Story. That shit going to be a wrap. Um... But I hope you enjoyed this review, and I see you in the next one. Um, subscribe and um, hit the like but button, and I hope you um, you having a wonderful day. And sorry about my voice. Sorry, um, I've been coughing all night. I haven't been sleeping, and um, so I hope you um, having a wonderful time, having a good day, and um, I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.